Just ahead on News Center 5, CIA Director William Casey testifies and confounds Congress. And after 17 years, a ceasefire in the Philippines. It's scheduled to last at least 60 days. Do it right. Do it yourself and save at National Auto. Do it. Be warm with the Sagaz Mouton Supreme Genuine Sheepskin Seat Cover, only $39.99. For Christmas, it's the Whistler 3 Super Head Radar Detector with rebate only $69.99. The top of the line spectrum, only $179.99. Do it. Do it. A tune-up with the Sun Super Tac 2 or Sun Tune Timing Light and Analyzer, only $29.99 each. So do it right. Do it yourself and save with National Auto. Open seven days a week and evenings, too. This holiday season, you can save up to 60% on famous maker large and half-size fashions at Stylish Women. Save 30 to 60% on sweaters and blouses. Save at least 25% on robes and intermittent apparel. Save 25 to 50% on coats. Save a third to a half on coordinates. Start your Christmas shopping early with savings of up to 60% on selected groups in every department. Now at Stylish Women. Stylish Women for holiday savings. Northern Lights Mall, Fairmont Fair, and Erie Boulevard East. I'm always looking for ways to simplify my life. That's one reason I'm glad I looked at Ford Escort. First off, I had my choice of Ford's lowest financing or hundreds of dollars in cash back. Second, I was able to save over $600 more on a special option package. Third, my Ford dealer gave me a warranty unmatched by any other American car maker. And for four years, it's been the world's best-selling car. I don't know, sounded pretty simple to me. Those local Ford dealers really are quality people with quality products that are simply great. Why is Christmas more fun with a gift from Dick's? Because everything we sell is designed for fun and on sale now. No one beats our golf department. Names like Wilson, Northwestern, Footjoy, and more. We'll help you choose the right exercise equipment from Marcy, Bollinger, and AMF. Everything for the fishermen is here and on sale. Along with the top names in racket sports like Prince, Pro Kennex, and Spalding. Brunswick, Dexter, and Hush Puppy head up our bowling department. Cross-country ski packages start at just $69.99. Can't decide? Then pick up a gift certificate in any amount. From Dick's Clothing and Sporting Goods, because Christmas is more fun with a gift from Dick's. In the Heckinger Plaza, DeWitt. In Kentucky, a sniper is in custody tonight. A disgruntled former worker at the University of Kentucky was subdued on the Lexington campus after wounding two men and holding police at bay for almost 11 hours. The sniper fired random shots from the window of a campus building. Authorities say 25-year-old Ulysses Davis held off a small army of police, including a SWAT team. Finally, Davis was overcome by high-powered fire hoses. Davis was said to be carrying out a vendetta for being fired as a maintenance worker, reportedly for fighting with fellow workers. An escapee from Sing Sing Prison was captured tonight more than 24 hours after he and two other inmates had scaled a wall around the prison and gained their freedom. Shortly before 8 this evening, Thomas Linz was taken into custody after police found him hiding in a boat. Another escapee, Julio Giano, is reported still at large. Both men were serving sentences for murder. A third inmate who broke out was captured earlier. CIA Director William Casey today testified in a closed hearing on the Iran-Contra connection, but the panel's chairman says more questions were raised than were answered. Ike Pampas reports. Much of Casey's heavily guarded closed-door testimony centered around the question of when he knew profits from the sale of weapons to Iran were diverted to the Nicaraguan Contra rebels through a secret Swiss bank account. The New York Times reported that Casey learned about the diversion of the money a month before it was uncovered by the Justice Department. The article suggested that Casey is more deeply involved in the Iran arms scandal than he is admitting. But committee members who heard the testimony say Casey denied the report. He has already said publicly and reiterated again today privately before the committee that the first knowledge he had of the, uh, of the diversion of funds to the Contras was when Attorney General Meese informed him of it. It is absolutely clear that Lieutenant Colonel North and Admiral Poindexter could not have been operating or acting on their own and that they would not have undertaken these initiatives without the approval of a higher authority. It is my very strong feeling that that higher authority was probably, indeed almost certainly, was the President of the United States himself. Chairman Fussell said his now completed hearings raised more questions than they answered and that the puzzle will not be completed until the question of immunity from prosecution for key witnesses who have taken the Fifth Amendment is settled. Ike Pappas, CBS News, Capitol Hill. The first nationwide ceasefire in the Philippines in 17 years began right on schedule today. 
Hundreds of masked rebels came out of the mountains to celebrate the 60-day historic truce. There were generally peaceful marches in at least eight cities, but authorities say one parade, some 600 miles south of Manila, turned violent. In France, hundreds of thousands of students, teachers, and workers also took to the streets, and again, most of them peacefully today. Their intention to mourn the death of a student allegedly beaten by police during an anti-government riot. The nation's foreign trade deficit has hit a record. The deficit rose to nearly $38 billion during the third quarter. The government says the biggest factor, car imports. The stock market made a comeback today as selective buying produced a strong rally. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 16 points while advancing issues led decliners by 4 to 3. Trading was active as about 139 million shares changed hands. Next, we'll see some sun tomorrow, but snow isn't far away. And we'll check out performers as smooth as ice. It's the final two weeks of OCC spring semester registration. You can still use the OCC.